I'm here today as one of the Dragons uh, for a, a final year module in, in new product development. They, the guys have been given a brief, it happens each year, the guys have been given a brief as to develop products around a certain theme. So in the past we've had Free From, uh, this year it's around health and convenience. The guys have been working on some product ideas, showing some posters, they're going to be doing a presentation later and uh, pitching it to myself along with some other people as a in a Dragon's Den style uh, format. Our product is a savoury cereal and grain bar made with roasted and dehydrated butternut squash, sweet potato and carrot peel that's flavoured with Caribbean jerk spice. So we did a lot of market research and we identified that there was a gap in the market for a savoury snacking bar. I think in my eyes to be a winner, um, two or three different factors. I'm looking for things where someone's taken something that's quite unique in the market where a number of people said there's all these existing um, and therefore they're sort of making a variation. I'm looking for one that's done something quite different, quite unique, taking something, done a little bit of an edge, something different in the market. I think those things are quite interesting to me. Our primary target market will be women aged 21 to 30 years old. This is because initial market analysis with our friends and family, such as our peers in the university, they have shown that they are very, very interested to get a dessert that's only 24 calories. And I think this is very important in in our current lifestyle because we're always seeking for food on the go but on the go food aren't always necessarily healthy. I think it's really difficult to come up with the best idea and the, the most important thing to come out of today is that someone can show true innovation and innovation isn't just an idea, innovation is application of the idea. So if the guys can look at holistically what's going to make it commercial, what's going to make it safe, what's going to make it taste good and be, and, and, and be good over life. Uh, and really uh, what's going to make someone pick it up in store. And that, if they can wrap all of that together, it doesn't have to be the most exciting thing with the weirdest and wacky ingredients. If it hits the brief and hits those things, that's what good looks like for me. Today, the student project, I think, have been very, very wide in their remit. Um, quite a large number, obviously, on the theme of sustainability and reusing um, products that may have gone to waste in, in terms of increasing value. A lot about vegan and vegan trends, which we're seeing in the food industry as being very, very important. One project on meat where they're trying to upgrade and add value to lower cuts of meat. So again, about how you take products, improve them. Um, veganism certainly there and a very wide range from cake bars through to sandwich and sandwich fillings to products like um, falafel and a really quite a range and some things like coconut and yogurt. Our product is unique to the market because there are no awful ready meals at the moment which have meatballs in so like all of the other competitor products are made with normal meat and there's a lot of awful waste at the moment in the UK so it's very eco-innovative um, and it's um, very highly nutritious compared to other meatball ready meals so our traffic light scheme is all green unlike competitor products which have red and orange on the salt and fat contents. To me there are two or three really key skills. The team working skill is probably the most important. Um, we know from experience that people who understand to work in diverse teams with people from different backgrounds with different knowledge help because that means you're able to create much better products. There's the actual process of developing a product and going through the project stages. Many industries, that's what you're doing. You are creating new projects, new products, and therefore to have those skills and understand how you can do it. I've asked every single team what's been the high point and what's been the low point, so they understand what goes well and what doesn't go well.